we have something divided by 3 equals 63. So we have a number, and if we divide that number into groups of 3, we have 63 groups. So let's make 63 groups of 3. If we have 10 groups of 3, we have 30. So we can count on 6 steps of 30, or 6 steps of 10 times 3, and then 3 steps of 3, and that will mean that we've counted 63 steps of 3 altogether. So we have 30, 60, 90, 120, 150, 180. So 63s takes us to 180. And now, if we count on another three threes, we have 183, 186, 189. So we've counted on 63 steps of 3 to get 189. So 189 divided by 3 is 63. So what we've really done is 63 times 3 to get 189. So we could have used column multiplication to find our missing number. 3 times 3 is 9, 6 times 3 is 18, and that gives us our missing number 189. Now we have something divided by 36 equals 4. So now pause the video and see if you can find the missing number. So we can answer this missing number division by using the inverse operation, by multiplying 36 and 4. So if we know 10 times 4 is 40, Another 10 4s gives us 20 times 4, which is 80. And another 10 4s gives us a total of 30 4s, which is 120. So now we just need to count 6 4s. 5 times 4 is 20. So if we add 5 4s, if we add 20, that takes us to 140. And then if we count on one more 4, that takes us to 144. So we've counted on a total of 36 4s to get 144. So 144 divided by 36 equals 4. So what we really did to answer this question is multiply 36 by 4. And we could have answered using column multiplication. 6 times 4 is 24, so we can write 2 under our tens and 4 in our units. Now 3 times 4 is 12, and 12 plus 2 is 14. So that gives us our missing number. 144. So with division, when you have a missing dividend, you can multiply your divisor and your quotient to find your missing number.